Hi, um, I'm Steve, and this is probably you know my hundredth DIY project that I've done. The first one I'm going to actually video because this question I, I see it popping up all the time, but nobody's been answering it. And I have here an AO Smith Signature Series 900, uh, 80 gallon hybrid water heater. Uh, if you don't know the difference between a hybrid and a regular, you can look that up. Other videos, there's lots of other people a lot smarter than me online who've been uh, reviewing these products. But one thing you're probably asking is, if you've got stinky water like we have, how do you get rid of it? And so there's you know a couple different methods. Um, one way is to uh, add peroxide to the top of your tank or to your water tank somehow, and that'll kill the bacteria without it being killed by the anode rods that are inside, or rod I should say, that's inside your water tank. Now what happens is, it's a chemical reaction between the rod and the bacteria that causes the hydrogen sulfide, I believe it's called, uh, that makes your water smell like sulfur, stinks. It's not bad for you, according to scientists I guess, uh, but it smells, and who wants to take a bath and a shower and smelly, stinky skunk water? Um, or sulfur water, it's, it's rotten eggs. Uh, but what I found was when I took this apart uh, on the top here, um, we have two anodes, not just one, there's two. And I'll show you, here's the original that I pulled out. Okay, so that's the full size anode. And I, I assume because it's an 80 gallon, that's why there's an anode and a third, yeah. And add on it a third, but then I thought, well, <laughs> this already has you know quite a bit of corrosion on it, so you know it's been doing its job. And what the anode is for, if you don't know already, uh, is to um, rust before the inside of your tank does. So that's that's its job. It keeps your tank uh, life lasting longer, and that's why I assumed uh, they put two anodes in this one because of the large volume uh, in the tank. But um, yeah, it's hard to tell. I don't know if you can see the end there, if it's been cut, uh, if the anode is supposed to be regular, uh, you know, length, like this other one here, or maybe there's a piece still in there that's two-thirds of this anode that's just sitting in the tank. If that's the case, then replacing this with one of these electric anodes is probably not going to fix the problem. Okay, this is the, uh, the new forget what it's called, but it's a it's an electric anode. You plug this part in here. There's a little adapter that comes with it. You plug this in the wall, and then this part hooks on the top here, on this little clip, and then you hook it to a ground um, inside the tank, or, or yeah, someplace to ground it inside the tank. You plug this in, and it sends an electrical current through this very, very small rod, and that's actually what preserves your tank. And supposedly these will last 20 years, the life of your tank, etc., uh, without getting that sulfur smell in your water. So I'm going to put this in, um, and we're going to see how it does. I've heard good things about them, that they actually work. Uh, however, I'm not going to put this anode back in because, again, I don't want the sulfur smell coming from it. But getting back to my original point, if two-thirds of this anode is broken off inside my tank, then it's gonna keep doing its job. It's gonna keep absorbing or, or creating that bad smell in my water and having this other anode may or may not work. Uh, so just, you know, an FYI, if, if there's a piece of anode in there, I have absolutely no way of telling. I'm sure somebody on there, one of those experts maybe, you can put a video camera down in the water or something and try to find it, maybe fish it out somehow. Uh, but as it stands right now, I'm just gonna put this all back together uh, and probably come back in a few months and see uh, what the result is. But again, I just wanted to point out two anodes. You can see them here side by side. Of course, you know, it's a mess. You know, I made this video uh, live. My wife's my cameraman. And I'll just take a quick look inside with the camera to show you uh, what we pulled out there. And of course, I made a mess. Oh, sorry about the noise. But anyways, you can see this was the first one I pulled out here. That was the long one. And then over here was that one third size. And of course I got the inside wet. I got to get a dryer in here to dry this all out. Make sure it's 
safe before I fill it back up the, the tank I emptied some of the water out I know it's gonna take about a week for this if we see any results at all um, but again you know gosh how do I get down in there to see if there's a broken uh, anode chunk in there um, okay well thanks for watching um, I hope this helps somebody and uh, have a great day Bye.